So today we're off to visit a resort hotel rated as Mexico's best resort by travel and leisure. Located in Cabo San Lucas, we had to go see for ourselves. Average rates run at the time of booking from 14 to 2,500 for a standard room a night. However, we were able to book it for $600 and I will show you how we did that. So stay tuned. So we just arrived and checked into our room. Let me give you a quick tour. Here is our main room with our bed, seating area. Here we have a fireplace, TV. Going into the ensuite, we have toilet, a soak tub, and an open shower. Is in her sinks. Then moving on to the terrace area, we have seating areas and this plunge pool that overlooks the property into the Pacific. Really a gorgeous view. One surprise that the concierge left us was this bottle of Casa Azul tequila. I'm not really a big tequila person, but I will definitely give this a good home. A quick tour of the resort. This is the main reception lobby of the hotel for guest services. The resort has a combined 115 rooms, suites, and villas. There are one, two, three, four restaurants, and one, two, three pools for, you guessed it, swimming. There's also an on-site spa and a really nice gym for working on getting those big muscles. Afterwards, we had breakfast, then explored the beach before heading on to our first adventure. Our first stop is a locally owned store specializing in textiles. This 40 year old loom creates pretty much everything you see in the store. One of the blankets we saw was so beautiful and well made we had to get one for ourselves. Good day. Yeah. Great, thank you. Thank you. Our next stop is a small town called Todo Santos. Todo Santos means all the saints. On November 1st of every year, a celebration of all the saints takes place. Then on November 2nd is the Day of the Dead, which is one of Mexico's most important and well-celebrated holidays. Yeah, I do remember you. Yeah. What's everything? It's very good. good. Great, thank you. Oh, it was excellent. We had so much fun. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Take care. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye. Back in our room, we decided to take a swim in the plunge pool and relax before dinner. Room service will stop by in the afternoons every day to drop off chips, salsa, and guac, and a small pail of Corona beers. Afterwards, we had dinner at Don Manuel's. 
server recommended a tequila for me to try, so here it goes. Cheers to everybody at home. It's actually pretty good. We then enjoyed our dinner while watching fireworks to end the night. So we have a special event today. We are doing a Vista Taco tasting. It's a nine course taco experience. We're so excited to try this. And it's just the two of us. On our last night, we booked reservations for El Farallon, located on the seaside cliff of the resort. Walking in, we were first seated in the Champagne Terrace for a drink before being escorted to our table. We had a spectacular view right off the cliff, and we couldn't have asked for better weather. Well, maybe except for the wind. El Farallon provides a four-course meal experience. With your main comes soup, appetizer, and dessert. We decided to order sea bass and amberjack, a fish we've never tried before. Thank you. Thank you. At checkout, we were given bottled water and these turtle sugar cookies as a parting gift. All in all, we really enjoyed our stay. And with that, you've made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching. Here is how we booked our stay. Looking at any given random month, you will see a standard room gets pretty expensive. Rather than booking this way, what you could do is book a reservation with points instead. Waldorf Astoria properties are part of Hilton's portfolio of hotels, and you are able to book rooms using Hilton points. On the Hilton website, you can purchase points. The best time to purchase points is when they offer a 100% bonus, which means, for example, if you were to purchase, say, 50,000 points, you would also get another 50,000 points in bonus, giving you a grand total of 100,000 points. The minimum for a standard reward booking for using points at the Waldorf Astoria Pedregal is 120,000 points per night. We purchased a total of 480,000 points, which set us back $2,400. With the 480,000 points, we were able to book four nights, which effectively cost us $600 a night. The great thing about booking with points at Hilton Properties is resort fees and taxes are covered. Versus, say, if you were to book one night for around $1,400, you would ultimately pay $500 more for service charges and taxes that would bump your total cost to more than $1,900. So to summarize, pretty simple math, and it's a no-brainer. 
If you also happen to carry an American Express card, make sure to check your Amex offers. As a cherry on top for our stay, we were able to use the following Amex offers, saving us another $550.